Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how we can use Qtab widget in Qt. So those of you who don't know what is a tab, you can uh, just go to tool in your Qt creator IDE and then go to options. And then you will be able to see these kind of uh, tabs here, general kit, uh, Qt version, compiler and uh, debugger and CMake. So these are called tab which you can switch uh, interchangeably, right? And the main use of tabs are they, if you have uh, really too much content to show in a window, you can, uh, you know, uh, segregate them using tabs. So for example, general tab have general information, kits have the information related to uh, kits whatever uh, you know building kits we have for example MinGW or MS uh, VC or Qt versions or a compiler so uh, these are this is the simple use of uh, tab so if you have uh, more information which you want to segregate then you can use tabs now what I have done is I have created a sample project and I will go to uh, mainwindow.ui and first of all, I will search for Q tab here. So just uh, search for Q tab, or even you can just search for tab, and uh, these will be the result. And we want to drag and drop a tab widget here. Okay. And uh, I will add one more uh, button here so that uh, we will use it later. So I will just uh, add a button also here. So push button. Okay. Now uh, I will just uh, give them uh, a horizontal uh, layout and then I will just uh, provide them some layout so that uh, it can be resizable, right? Now uh, there are some properties of uh, tab which we can see. So just select your tab and go to the properties and I will show you some of the interesting properties here. So here you will be able to see in Q tab widget the tab position property. So by default, the position of tab is at the top, which is uh, north, right? Now you can uh, change the position to south and uh, the tab will go down or uh, it, you can change it to west and it will go left and you can change it uh, to east and it will go right, right? And by default it's not so it will be at the top so you can change uh, this tab position also now tab shape so by default they are uh, rounded but there are some options for example triangular so you can see the shape of tabs are now a little bit triangular right so you can uh, do this now you have the icon so you can give uh, the icons uh, from here so you have the icon size you can increase the icon size for example we want uh, 32 by 32 and press enter and uh, then uh, when, whenever you give the icon or whenever you provide the icon to your tab then uh, it will be bigger right now the next property is uh, current tab text so whatever tab uh, is selected here the text of it you can change so for example uh, this is for example my home tab or a second tab is for example something else for something else for example c++ or third tab is uh, something else right and you can also provide the tab name tab name is uh, like uh, uh, this object name so you have a tab widget which is the object name of the whole uh, tab widget right but the single uh, tab has its own object name which is this one current tab name okay now current tab icon you can provide uh, some icon from here right now i don't have any icon but uh, you can uh, you know add the resources and then you can choose uh, the icon from there right you can also provide the tooltip to your uh, tab so whenever you run the application then it will show some uh, tooltip for example this is uh, home and uh, whenever you uh, run your application 
uh, and hover over your home tab it will show you the tooltip so i will hover over here and it shows me this tooltip this is a home right so this is for uh, that now there are some more interesting properties here for example you can uh, check this option which says tabs closable so just click this option and you can see the close button comes on the tab right and you can write a code on uh, for the, these um, tabs uh, close buttons and then they will be closed right and then uh, there is a uh, one more option which is a movable uh, a tab so whenever you check this then you can move your ta tabs like this okay so there is uh, this option also so now let's add uh, the code for uh, removing the tabs for example so you can just right click here and then uh, go to slot and from uh, here we will uh, choose a special slot from here which is tab close request okay so just choose this slot which says tab close request and click ok it's going to create us uh, this function and in here you can just uh, write I will just make this a uh, little bit bigger so we can see and then here you can just write UI and then call your uh, tab widget and then you can just say remove uh, tab okay and then you can uh, just provide this index here as an argument and then uh, you will be able to remove the tab so let's run the code and let's see if it removes the tab or not so our code is compiling and it's running hopefully and when I click this button it closes right and when I click this button it closes right now for example if you want to add uh, some uh, tabs by clicking some button so we want to add some tabs dynamically so how we can do it so I will go to the main window and for example when I press the button I want to add the tab so I will just change the text to add tab and then I will give a slot to it so right click go to slot clicked ok and when this button is clicked I want to add a tab so I will just say UI and then uh, tab widget and then uh, you can uh, just uh, say add tab okay so just call add tab it has a few uh, you know overloads so uh, we will uh, use the second overload which takes first uh, uh, first argument as a widget and second is the text so just write new q widget so just write new q widget and the second argument will be the text for example my third uh, tab is java tab and you can add something like multiple tabs so uh, for example uh, if I want to add multiple tabs then static text will not work but first of all let's see if the tab is added or not so I will run the code and then uh, let's see if the tab uh, will be added or not when we press the button so when I click add tab it adds this Java tabs here right but uh, for example I want to uh, add multiple tab then it will add multiple Java tab uh, text to it which we don't want so how we can solve this problem so what we can do here is we can add a Q string so just write Q string and then we will just say tab and this will be in the code so just provide codes around it and give us space and then we will uh, provide our argument to it so just write uh, mod uh, 0 for the first argument right and then you can just give the argument so for example arg and then you can give the argument for example the index of the tab so we will count how many tabs we have and then we will add uh, one more tabs to it so just write count so it will give us the tab count and then we will just add plus one to it okay so let's run the code and let's see if it works or not for us so I will just click add tab and it adds tab 3 and when I say add tab it adds tab 4, tab 5, 
tab 6 something like this now you may ask an obvious uh, question here that uh, okay we have a new tab but where is the content how we can add some content to the tab so normally when we go to uh, the main window.ui from here you can add uh, the content to your tab for example something like this some buttons or uh, some added text or uh, some other uh, you know other widgets from your labels or any other widgets something like this right and in the other tab it has its uh, own window so you can add uh, different tabs here also something like this okay so these are the tabs which are already present so this is easy to do it we can drag and drop a widget and uh, you know place it here and do something with it but uh, we are also adding some tabs dynamically here so we will go here and we are adding some tabs dynamically so how we can add this uh, push button and everything to this so the simple uh, idea is you can uh, create a tab window and add it to your tab so you can just right click on your project and then click add new and we will just choose qt and then just choose designer form class from here and then click choose and this time we will add uh, or choose this widget template from here so just choose widget template and click next and leave it as default and click uh, next or if you want to change uh, this you can change it but for now i'm not going to change it right so next and finish okay so this is going to create uh, one more form for us which is form uh, form dot ui right so we will go here and then uh, we can uh, you know provide some uh, widgets here and do fu some functionality i'm not going to add some functionality here i will just add some widgets here so i will add a text uh, view and uh, for example i want to add uh, some uh, labels here and i want to add a push button for example right and i will select all of them and i will pro give them a horizontal view layout and then i will just give a, a horizontal layout to all the window like this okay so for example this is my widget and i want to show uh, this uh, widget in the tab when i uh, add uh, one tab for example right so i will once again go to uh, my main window.cp file and i will add first of all include uh, this header for form.h right to use uh, this class so i will just include this and i will just say form.h which allows me to uh, use this uh, class which is uh, form class right so i can just uh, copy the name of the class and instead of uh, this q widget i can just say new form so this is the class name which we have created which is this one right and when we run our uh, code and hopefully it will work for us so the code is running and when i click add a tab it adds the tab with uh, this uh, you know the widget we have created so it has uh, this text label and uh, push button and uh, this text view right and i will add one more tab and you can see it adds one more tab for example when i press uh, this add tab this uh, tab is not selected automatically you see this tab tab is created but i want to select it automatically also right so what i can do here is i can just uh, go here and i will just write ui and tab widget and then i will say set current index and the current index will be ui uh, tab widget count so just use count and then minus one right and then run the code and let's see what happens so when we create a tab it should be selected so you see uh, it's automatically selected current index right so like this okay so in this way you can use uh, qtab widget class in qt i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now